good for us sports TV. And I know everybody by now has seen the picture that has been surfaced of Earl Spence. He was at the Turkey Hub or somewhere down there in Texas. First time he's been seen publicly. And um, I looked, I said, he looked good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, cool. But then uh, the person that sent me the picture was like, hey, man, look at his hand. And I was like, damn, it do look a little hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you're like, look at his face. He do got a little something right here on his nose. And then they like, look at his hand he got in his pocket. And it looked totally burnt. So back injury must be well. Don't sure about the mouth. Um, you know, hands got a little bit of injuries on there. Uh, nose, but overall, he looked good. And people said, well, he looked hella heavy and, and this and that. He don't look heavy. I can't really tell. I don't know how people can tell somebody look heavy, you know, unless they got a baller belly, you know, like him. When he got a hoodie on, he don't look too much out of shape like I thought he did to me. He looked pretty, you know, he looked pretty weight-wise. He looked pretty okay. He don't look like, you know, he at the point where it's beyond return to 147. But let's talk about that, man, and what uh, the plan is going forward or what they in talks to do with Earl Spence. But we back. Good for the Sports TV. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. And um, uh, the Emmers champion, they, they about to make, uh, they talking about making Earl. Um, they gave an excuse. The reason why Earl can be franchise champion is because he not unifying or it's not a unification next. I don't understand that. But they're not making him franchise champion. And they planning on him not coming back no time soon or being able to uh, fulfill his mandatories anytime soon. So it can be a scenario where Errol, where they saying Errol Spence may drop both the belts. The WBC may make may, may make him their Emirates champion. And I don't know as far as the IBF, it was told to me it may be a situation where Earl might drop both of the belts if he not cannot come back in time. And like I said before, he's supposed to be at Wilder and Ortiz too. And it's like him showing his face. He on track to beat her this weekend. I don't know if he's going to talk, do interviews, how his mouth going or whatever, no other shit like that. It was just relayed to me. He's supposed to be at the fights this weekend. So that's going to kind of, you know, buy him some time. But the important thing about that is, and I just did, and, and I just did a video earlier before I got this news way earlier. I did a video about Crawford and Earl, how I, I don't care about the fight no more. Um, and I said that last night live, but I wanted to make a particular video to show for history because everybody can't go through the whole entire hour plus change in live. But what's important about this is not him possibly probably make him the Emirates champion is that now Danny Garcia may fight Sean Porter for a belt, or he might fight Yugis for a belt. So now that's the scenario you're looking at. And I said earlier, I said, well, Danny Garcia, I don't blame him for not fighting Sean Porter because ain't nothing on the line. You want to rematch and what? It's not a championship on the line. Now it may be a situation where they might just make Earl the Emirates champion. Mike, he's the Emirates at 35. You know, it, it says that, and I'll read it in a minute. Let me pull it up. I'm about the WBC Emirates champion, but at the end of the day, it may be a scenario where Earl might drop both his belts, and obviously PBC will pick up the WBC belt and the Qdoba guy who beat Luis Ortiz. I mean, that beat uh, Luis Galazzo. That's why I call him Qdoba. Um, he very may well fight the, whoever they deem number two, because right now um, uh, number two is unavailable, which. The next highest ranked guy, Sergey Lipias, and I like Sergey Lipias to win that fight, in my opinion. Okay, so PBC still can end up with with both of the uh, you know end up with, still with both of the belts, and Earl can come back in this fight. But it says that the WC is designated the WC lightweight champion. Mikey is the Emirates champion. The designation is an honor that has been granted to few exceptional elite champions, which allows them to resolve specific, specific, I don't know why I can't say the word, specific situations, which prevent them from, to present them, uh, prevents them to actively, I think it meant, prevent them from actively defending their WBC World Championship. It was a typo. Uh, shout out to NewYorkFights.com um, for that info. So, um, basically, when you can't make weight or, you know, you got an injury or you're not sure you're going to be able to fight pretty soon, soon the Emirates champion is basically making you an honorary champion. So I guess if he does want to come back and Danny and Shine wins it and, you know, down the line, they still got the belt, he can come back and fight for that belt. 
And as far as the IBF, it sounds like they prepared to strip him or he just prepared to drop the belts till he get healthy. And you don't want to rush that back, especially you dealing, if you're dealing with oral surgery. You look at his hands, you look at his face. Any of those abrasions can open up, not only in you know, sparring, but they open up in a fight. And you can blemish his record or you can permanently damage him. So um, it could be a situation where he might be a crock pot right now. He might just be slow cooking, you know, where they actively trying, they, they, act, they just progressively trying to get him ready for ring return. So right now, nothing is imminent. And in the world of, the, uh, of PBC, things are consistently changing. You know, but right now, they in talks with the WBC. I'm pretty sure they're talking to the IBF. So this will open up a way, making him, this will open a way for Sean and Danny to fight for the belt. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it boiled down to. So they can't, they supposed that this is supposed to happen. They're supposed to next announce Danny Garcia fight this Saturday. Mikey has already been picked by Pacquiao to fight. That wasn't even a decision. You know, if Mikey didn't fight Pacquiao next, then... Mikey would have fought Pacquiao if he got done with Danny Garcia, which, like I said before, PBC offered Mikey the Manny fight to keep him on that side of the street. So what's supposed to happen this weekend, remember I said they're supposed to announce a fight this weekend, which may or may not happen. They're supposed to announce a fight this weekend, which is supposed to be Danny Garcia fight January 25th. I think that's the date. Benavidez and Uterman is already on the undercard. But... I guess Danny Garcia don't want to fight Sean Porter for nothing. And can you blame him? That brings nothing to the table. You lose to Sean Porter again, you don't get Earl. You don't get Manny. You know what I'm saying? You don't get Earl. I mean, you don't get Manny, Earl, or nobody else. So you're not going to get Sean again. He beat you twice. What's the point of the trilogy if I'm up 2-0? I'm just better than you. No matter who I thought Danny won, I thought Sean won. Hey, I'm up 2-0. I'll beat you twice. I'm going to fight you again. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So... So, right now, I guess that's why I didn't deal to make Arrow some type of champion, to recess Emirates champion right now. And when he's ready, he can fight for the belt. So, Danny and Sean can fight, and they can have a big fight for January 25th. You know, as far as the IBF, they don't play. They do get medical exceptions. Charlo got a medical exception before he fought J-Rock. But more than likely, it sounds like he might drop the belts until he will enable to come back. And who knows? Will he come back at 47? Will he come back at 54? So, at the end of the day, like I said before, it's a great escape for him not to fight Crawford. I don't want to see it no more. I'm cool with it. I came to grips after the car accident. Like, I'm not going to be able to enjoy the fight after the fight. No matter what. If Crawford lose, well, I look like an idiot, right? I can take it. I'm a man. I can take it on chop. If he win, oh, you know, Earl Spence, if it wasn't for the car accident, he wasn't the same fighter. Or he, and then the, the, before that happened, it would have been he was way drained. And fuck it. I, I don't even want to go through it no more. The way... The way some of these channels just make propaganda and push this on there, they really think they create the narrative where they control the narrative. Nigga, you don't create control the narrative. You control you control the narrative on your channel, on your social media platform, whoever follow you. You cannot, cannot create a narrative for AJ. You cannot create a narrative for Arrow. Or whatever the fuck you you living in your fantasy world. We control the narrative and we run boxing. Like these niggas, man, who you think y'all is? You know what I'm saying? You just nobody. And if you were somebody, then you know dudes can get dudes be able to get credentials and never get denied. Be killing me, dude. Oh, we control the narrative of boxing and we can put I'm like, man, dude, I just get my opinion on here and get the hell out. Chop it up with a few of y'all in the comment section, do the lies. I don't want to control no narrative. You know, did AJ and Wilder ever happen? Remember they control the narrative? If you control the narrative, you write the story, that happens. You don't. You don't. Tim Smith, Sylvia, Al Heyman, Sam Watson, Kelly Swanson, uh, 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 Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, or, or whoever, they don't care about what you think. Some of the fighters may get mad about your opinion and all that, but they don't really, it don't really bother them. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's the time we're living in, so... With Arrow, I mean, hopefully, you know, he looked pretty he looked pretty good to me. He had a few, you know, markings on him. But from what I understand, they in talks to kind of make some shit shake with his career as far as his belts. And he could be dropping both his belts and uh, being the Emirates champion. And then, you know, they're going from there. So I don't know. And like I said, the division is dead for me. All the other guys in the division, they all old. 
you know, they all old. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. Want to make a donation? That link's description. Best way to donate is share the video. And to all the haters out there, appreciate it. Everybody want to hate, but everybody want to watch the channel. Though. You ever heard that? Oh, tweet me. Oh, you this, you that. Come on. What you watching for, do you? Why, why my opinion box? Sometimes I just... I just push it on social media just to just to fuck with people. I may not even believe what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So I just do that now, just to just to irk people's nerves. You might having a good day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he he he's hating on Earl. You know who cares? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Obviously you do. You know what I'm saying? I can stay in this channel and him and this guy and that guy. I don't don't watch. I feel the same way about the lames y'all watch. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same way. Don't nothing know nothing about boxing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Earl Spence's, you know, this and that, and J-Rock got a good job. Oh, you remember the time in the fifth grade, you know, where I sucked Lisa toes, you know, and she told me, turn her, oh, hold on, hold on, let me tell you about my story when I suck toes. <laughs> I told the homies and the, and the homies, oh, don't tell the homies, don't tell the homies. Then even before you know it, they reached their quarter on Super Chats and, yeah, you know, thanks for watching, man. Cool. You learn today, don't tell the homie. Like, please, man. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. I'm on social media. If you want to catch me on there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, reach out to the email. If you got business, question, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests, keep sharing the videos. One time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. We gone.